For some reason, our top performing Instagram post is on protein farts. Oh. Yeah. So I'm so <laughs> relieved to know that. <laughs> Apparently, it's quite a common problem. And the protein farts is because of sugar alcohols. alcohols. Yep. So what is a sugar alcohol, Stacey? So sugar alcohol is a naturally occurring sugar flavor or it tastes sweet on the tongue. So mm. we think about mannitol, xylitol, anything that ends with sorbitol. all, sorbitol, yeah. right? And it is between 50 and 100 times sweeter on the tongue than glucose, mm. which is sugar. So your body thinks that it's getting sugar, but it doesn't have the calories or carbohydrate. So people put it in sports products yes. because- if Less calories. Less calories, but also if you were to have branched chain amino acids without sweetener, you would never have a branched chain amino acid. Quite bitter. It is very bitter. Mm. Same with a lot of the protein products out there because people aren't used, especially in the States, they're very attuned to sweetness. So the more sugar alcohols you have, the more it perturbs the gut because it can't be broken down. So you mm. start to get a buildup of pressure from all the sugar alcohol consumption and the bacteria is like, I can't digest this, can't break it down, so it increases the pressure and then you end up with lots of gas. Yeah, so um, we can tolerate a certain level of sugar alcohols per day, but what we're currently seeing is so many products have them in it that by the time you get to the end of the day, you're um, actually over that threshold. So we're seeing them in electrolytes, protein powders, protein bars, gum. basically Mints. yeah, gum, any, any product that is made for the diet fitness market tends to be using sugar alcohols now. Yep. And one of the things is like you'll read monk fruit with erythritol. Yes. Erythritol is a sugar alcohol. Yeah. So they're trying to say it's natural, but right. it's also mixed in there with a bit of... Yes. And it does have an impact on your insulin responses. Mm. Even though people are like, well, it's not a sugar, your brain from your tongue and the sweetness that in parts thinks it's getting sugar. Mm. So it, we see in um, some of the research studies on humans that <laughs> it does create an insulin response. 